So it's really just putting in the time. And uh, 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 I, I sometimes say this to people that are getting into the business as apprentices or interns, but it's also true if you're an assistant engineer or a young engineer out there too. If, if you're working somewhere and you're not being exposed to new stuff, you're not being, uh, uh, having an opportunity to, to learn, to ask some questions, to, to upgrade your education, gotta, gotta go find another internship, gotta go find another apprenticeship. It's absolutely fair of, of the employer to expect you to contribute, do some errands, help out, do the chores around the place, that's fair. But in return, you need to expect to be exposed to some things that are going to help you in your professional education. I think it's really important for anyone who's getting into production to not look at one genre and one application. The watchword is multi-platform. If you like audio, uh, and that's what turns you on. Awesome. But there's audio for records, music, film, television, webcasting, phone casting, commercials. Um, next time you're at the movies, Friday night, you go to see Mission Impossible or you go see X-Men, just try and concentrate on how much you're actually hearing in 60 seconds of that movie. You're hearing the work of dozens of audio people who put together not just the recording of Tom Hanks or Hugh Jackman talking in the feature film, that audio was probably replaced later in post-production by an ADR engineer. There's one audio job. The whole musical score was scored and recorded later. But one of the most interesting places, and not everybody focuses on this, is the sound design and the sound effects scoring, which is a giant part of not just feature film production, but television production, uh, and it requires a tremendous amount of creativity and expertise. So sound effects scoring and sound design is a great avenue for uh, anyone interested in audio. Uses the same Pro, Pro Tools platforms. If you get into music and you learn your Pro Tools skills and you decide to move into film or TV, those skills are transferable to all these different professions, all these different areas of production. So I often tell young people, keep your mind open. Don't just think about music or don't just think about music for CDs, for albums. Think about music for film and television and commercial as well because that opportunity may be more available to you, especially if you live in Miami or Philadelphia or someplace other than Los Angeles, Nashville, and New York. I am so happy. I am so lucky that I made a career in music. Uh, when I got out of school, I wanted to be next to music. I was not a good musician. My son is a good musician. I'm envious of him. He can play music. I'm not. I can't. Uh, I am... Uh, I, I find music to be just uh, uh, the most rewarding thing in the world. Uh, I, I, when I get philosophical about this, I sometimes say things like, if you were to make a short list of the greatest things our species has ever contributed to this civilization, you might come up with medicine and architecture and things, but music's probably on the short list. Music is really great stuff. And to be able to be next to great musicians and be around when they're making music, I dig it.